Over its 70 years, IU Southeast has developed into a full-service institution. First of all, you know, we began in 1941 with only 291 students, and only four of them were full-time. I happen to be a, one who went to IU Southeast when it was the IU Extension Center back in Water Park. It started out in downtown Jeffersonville, where it provided only the first year or two of the baccalaureate degree, and students then had to go to Bloomington. But over time, it gained degree-granting authority and blossomed into a full university. The number of programs and the quality and depth of those programs have increased over time, uh, as has the uh, ability of the university to meet the needs of the community. For me, the most dramatic change was the move to the New Albany campus. It was a very exciting time. When I arrived at IU Southeast in the summer of 1975, we had a few buildings at that time, but uh, of course there are, there are a lot more now, and I saw some of those go on the campus. We were shifting to focusing on increasing the quality of the campus and its offerings, its teaching, its research and service. A more obvious change, in my view, was the uh, embracing of uh, tuition reciprocity, which uh, opened the campus to uh, a large number of folks in, uh, in the Louisville metropolitan area. And of course, the biggest change is getting student housing. It has made such a difference in the climate of the campus. When I look at the campus community today, I see a very exciting community because I see students that really want to go to class, that want to learn that want to mix over in the commons, that want to spend time on campus. When I was uh, a member of the SBA student government, we had an office there. I made a look at my office. I actually slept there, so don't tell the chancellor. But I slept many times in that office. I was very pleased and excited about the diversity here. Now you can see it all over the campus. And this past uh, May, I attended the graduation and it was great to see the diversity and the graduates too. Now we have over 7,200 students. Um, this past year we've had our largest graduating class ever. If you go out into the business community or the nonprofit world or our educational institutions, our medical institutions, you will find so many IU Southeast graduates out there. So I'm very proud to say that IU Southeast has contributed so much to this regional community. Our performance ought to be such that not only the people on the campus take pride in it, but the people in the community can take pride in it. I think IU Southeast, Southern Indiana have grown together. They've matured together. A lot of it has been interconnected with each other. Communities can work together to bring about positive change, An example being bringing uh, this kind of an institution to maturity in this region. Whatever good we do for our students, it's because of the dedication and the hard work of the people here on this campus and in the local community who want to see our students thrive. If this campus wouldn't be here, Many of us probably wouldn't be able to get a degree from IU, but IU Southeast has been here, and this is why many of us, I include myself, we have the privilege to get an IU degree. Southern Indiana has been gracious in giving funds to IU Southeast for both scholarships and to help grow programs. And as a Chancellor's Medallion Scholarship recipient, I appreciate what Southern Indiana has done for IU Southeast and has done for me. And it's a great thing to be a part of both communities. Southern Indiana must know the history of IU Southeast because it took their contributions and their effort to make this a viable institution. We hope that people will recognize the tremendous asset that exist within this community and that they will take pride in what the campus has accomplished. 70 years of excellence, 70 years of continuous progress from 1941 to 2011. So many years of granting degrees and turning out qualified people who contribute back to the community. We're very proud of them and we hope as we step into a new future that they're gonna to continue to be our supporters. Their past efforts have certainly given us a great foundation, but we know that future efforts are going to be needed to continue this path of excellence.